First, California residents are bracing for another round of severe storms. Residents are cleaning up from last week's bomb cyclone that flooded streets, knocked out power, and resulted in at least 12 deaths over the last 10 days. Well, tonight, 90% of the state's population is under a flood watch, with officials telling residents in several counties to leave and get to higher ground. President Biden has issued an emergency declaration. CBS's Carter Evans will start us off tonight from Santa Cruz, California. Good evening, Carter. Good evening, Nora. A short break in the rain here, but so much damage has already been done along the coast here in Santa Cruz. The storm surge and really high surf wiped out part of this beachfront road. You can see it's just gone. And these record-breaking downpours, well, they're wreaking havoc across the state. California is drowning. The ground now is so saturated, water has nowhere to go but up. In the town of Felton, several homes now underwater as the San Lorenzo River overflows, prompting rescues in the fast-moving current. Mud-soaked hillsides are coming down. This one is blocking the highway into Santa Cruz. The San Lorenzo is just one of several rivers now at or above flood stage. This map shows how widespread the risk is. Many flooded roads throughout the San Francisco Bay Area are impassable. High wind and high water uprooted trees. Just in the past 10 days, Oakland, California has more rain than it normally gets in the entire season. The brunt of the storm is now taking aim on Southern California in Santa Barbara County. The entire community of Montecito is ordered evacuated and evacuated now. That's the same area where a devastating mudslide five years ago killed 23. In less than 12 hours, we've received more than eight inches of rain with seven to eight inches still forecast to fall. Back near Santa Cruz, the coastal town of Capitola was devastated by the high surf, heavy rain, and power outages. John Whitby's restaurant, Zelda's, is heavily damaged. It's been in the families since the 70s. How many people you got working here? 74. 74. 74 people that don't have anything to do. And there's little time to make repairs before the next round hits in a couple of hours tonight. Right now, 35 million people in California are under flood advisories. Nora? Carter Evans, thank you so much.